I said it was a very bad thing that happened, and uh, you know, it happened at a school. And he asked me, he goes, oh, our school? And I said, no. The massacre weighed heavily on the minds of students, staff, and parents here at home today. It's especially hard as classes resume just days after that deadly rampage. News 4's Rich Newberg continu continues our team coverage tonight. Rich? Well, the Grand Island School District has reached out to parents, faculty, and staff beginning Friday and continuing through the school day today. Everything is focused on helping children process the tragedy in Newtown. The kindergarten holiday show will go on as planned this week at Sidway Elementary School on Grand Island. Rehearsing for the show, as well as a morning sing-along and a visit from Santa helped achieve the school's goal. You know, trying to keep things as normal as possible, acknowledging that there may be something that they're feeling, but um, keeping it matter-of-factly and just assuring them that they will be safe. Teachers were looking for any changes in student behavior, but only one child required counseling. Emily Allison. Because of the widespread media coverage, exposure to the tragedy is almost inevitable. Children may walk in as their parents are watching updates from Newtown, Connecticut. That happened to Brian Willits, a education teacher at Sidway, whose six-year-old son is a student at his school. I said it was a very bad thing that happened, and uh, you know, it happened at a school. And he asked me, he goes, "Oh, our school?" And I said, "No." Um, and I told him our school is very safe. And I said, "Some of these, you know, tragic things happen like this." The school has a security system in place and procedures to follow in an emergency. But that's not the only reassurance that children need in the wake of Newtown. They need the kind of support that many parents openly offered their children before the school day began. The hugs were longer this morning, and the, the I love you's were louder and more frequent. And the, and the number of uh, children who separated from their parents and then turned right around to go back and hug them again, I think is a reflection of, of what happened on, on Friday. Sidway Elementary is expecting standing room only performances. Superintendent Christman put all the staff of all his schools on notice Friday to look for updates over the weekend on how to handle this week at school.